Hello, hello everybody and welcome to The Sim Hanger. My name's Mark and welcome also to my first look at FS Academy's Jetliner. This is a set of 12 modular, easy to follow tutorials that's going to take us from Gatwick all the way to Barcelona in Spain. It's going to cover engine start and taxi right the way through to final landing and taxi in and just about everything in between. It also includes some abnormal and emergency procedures. It's going to get us more acquainted with real-world airline ops and handling a jet aircraft. FS Academy Jetliner is available directly from Orbix. The cost is just under 28 US dollars or 23 euros or just under 20 pounds. It should also be available in SIM at the marketplace at the end of May. This of course is not the first product from FS Academy, having previously released Voyager, a set of seven bush trips, as well as IFR tutorials and VFR as well. The Simhanger channel has covered some of these products before, and I'll leave links to these videos in the notes below if you want to know more. I won't cover installation, it's a breeze, and you get a folder in your community folder. Like all FS Academy products, there's a fairly comprehensive set of instructions for each module, as well as general information in terms of managing the airliner, as well as various instruments and airline procedures within it. Throughout the tutorials, you'll use an Airbus 320, although your skills that you learn will apply no matter what heavy you're flying. As per the IFR and VFR tutorials, each stage or step is dealt with in a separate module, with the instructor's voice guiding you on each phase. Modules 8, 9 and 10 deal with things when they don't go right. And module 11 deals with manually flying the aircraft, with module 12 rounding it all off with a check ride, so you can test the skills that you've learnt. You're put to the test. To choose a module within Microsoft Flight Simulator, you click from the main menu on Activities and then on Bush Trips. And although they're not Bush Trips, this is the only place where modular programs can be stored at this time. Each module is shown separately and click on the one that you want. The best and simplest way to demonstrate this is simply to do one of the modules. And I've chosen Module 2, the takeoff, our departure from Gatwick. So let's jump in and see what it's like. Before we do, let's just be aware of some of the limitations with this package. For the FMS and flight planning to function correctly, it requires the default NAV database. It is hoped the Navigraph info will be supported in the future. It's also recommended that you use the default A320 for these tutorials, as the fly-by-wire version is a rapidly and constant changing freeware project, which may introduce an issue with Jetliner at some point or another. The developer hopes to attain fly-by-wire compatibility at some point in the future. Another important point to note is if you make a mistake, the instructor or tutor will not correct you, although you may be asked to restart the module. If you find this very frustrating and would rather have reminder notes available to you during the flight, then have a look at this video, the SIMEFB. This will allow you to make your own notes and have them viewable in a panel during the flight. Oh, and if you prefer to fly in VR, no problem, both programs are compatible. We're at halting point Alpha 2 for runway 26 left at Gatwick, just waiting for the cabin to call ready. Whilst we wait, let's review the takeoff profile. When we're cleared to line up, we'll perform the below the line actions and taxi onto the runway before coming to a stop. Once cleared for takeoff, push the stick forward slightly and set 50% N1 on the engines. This gives us an opportunity to check that both engines spool up evenly. Once the engines are both stable at 50%, Set the levers into the flex detent, keeping your hands on the levers in case we have to stop quickly. Keep the nose down pressure on the stick until 80 knots, then smoothly set the stick to neutral. When I call V1, take your hand off the thrust levers, we can't stop anymore. Next I'll call rotate, 
you need to smoothly raise the nose to 15 degrees. Once we're off the ground, we'll raise the gear and we're on our way. I'll talk you through each step as we go. A little bit more complex than my Piper Arrow. That's it. The cabin crew are happy that everyone sat down and we're ready for takeoff. Let's call ATC. Jetliner 488 ready for departure. Jetliner 488, line up and wait, runway 26 left. Line up and wait 26 left, Jetliner 488. Runway looks clear, approach looks clear. Line up on the runway centre line and come to a stop. Okay, so handbrake off and throttles forward slightly. As we enter the runway, turn on the landing lights and we'll finish the before takeoff checklist below the line. We're entering the runway, so landing lights better go on. Below the line. Cabin secured for takeoff. Engine mode selector normal. TCAS TARA. Packs on. Anti ice off. Below the line complete, line up only, runway 26 left from Alpha 2. Come to a stop here. Okay, gently on the brakes and then stop. I find the instructions in the panel and then it turning green once completed very helpful. Jetliner 488 cleared for takeoff, runway 26 left, wind 270 at 8. Cleared for takeoff, runway 26 left, Jetliner 488. Great, we're cleared for takeoff. Apply some nose down pressure on the stick and set 50% N1. Okay, a bit of nose down, there we go, and then move the throttles forward and look at N1 for 50%. Engines look good, move the thrust levers forward to the flex detent. Moving levers forward to MCT, maximum continuous thrust. Thrust is set. Don't embarrass yourself now, try and stay on the runway. Keep some nose down stick. Now release the nose down pressure on the stick. Easing the stick back now to neutral. 100 knots. V1. Rotate. Smoothly raise the nose to 15 degrees. Pitch up to 15 degrees. I'm trying, I'm trying. Good, now hold the nose there. Positive climb, gear up. Engage autopilot one. Gear is away. Now reduce thrust to the climb detent. Now that we're above S-speed, retract the flaps. Disarm spoilers and taxi light off. We're doing parting out of Gatwick. In alt star mode, the autopilot will capture our selected altitude of 5,000 feet. The landing lights add a small amount of drag and vibration, so let's turn them off now that we're in the air and it's daytime. turning the seatbelt sign off and then back on again. We're at 5,000 and speed 250 knots. Great, we're on our way now and the crew are starting their routine. 
Hope they got a few sandwiches and coffee on board. I haven't had breakfast this morning. Next, we'll look at using the automation systems and cover the techniques used during the climb. And that's it. That was Module 2, Start to Finish. Instructions were clear and straightforward and there were further information within the manual. I do a lot more GA flying than I do airliner flying and I'm going to find these modules very, very useful indeed. I've completed Module 1 and 2 and I'm going to go on and complete the rest. Very enjoyable. The developer provided me with a review copy and it is a pre-release copy. So there may be a few changes to the release copy. Please bear that in mind. Many thanks for being with me today. I hope you found this useful and informative. Stay well, look after yourselves and stay safe. Bye for now.